welcome to a Brand Flakes production. Hey guys, what's up? This is Brand Flakes Productions. Um, this is how you install a Koyo Rad radiator on a 13 Civic, well, 9th Gen Civic SI. The first thing you want to do is remove this uh, plastic radiator shroud cover. Um, it's just several pop clips and two Allen bolts that look like these. They're a five. And then just remove the bolt here, here, there, and then on the other top. So this is just the um, radiator support. Um, it's also got the hood latch and all that and the horn. Um, so the horns here, I just went ahead and took that off for now. And then you'll have to disconnect the harness to the radiator fans and then disconnect the um, OE radiator. The lower radiator hose actually has a quick disconnect. So you just pull this spring back and then you are able to pull it off just by wiggling it. The top one just has a hose clamp that you'll pinch and pull off. Um, to get the uh, radiator fans out, those have 10 millimeters at the top, which are on the back side of the radiator. So as you can see, there's those four tens at the top. You'll take those off and then the bottom's resting in posts. So you can just lift it out. Um, so that's how you get to where I'm at now. And I went ahead and bought a new engine coolant temp sensor. This one's an NTK, um, looks like this. So there's the engine coolant temp sensor. And then this is the um, drain petcock. Um, just make sure you tighten that because it does come loose when you get it. And then um, after all of that's been removed, it's just the reverse for installation. So I'll just place this in on the pegs. Um, I'll take the rubber boots off the bottom of that and slide them onto here. So it's got rubber dampening. Slide the um, lower radiator hose there, upper there. And then this is the um, overflow. So that's just a rubber hose that you'll just pull off through the overflow reservoir, which is actually attached to this radiator fan here. So there's the overflow. And you do need to get a Koyorad radiator cap for the um, Koyorad radiator. The OE one will not fit. Hey guys, um, this is a couple days after installation. So as you can see, the Koyorad radiator cap is here. The Koyorad radiator body itself down there. It's got the uh, text imprinted on it with the little hatch mark. So that's pretty sweet, it looks good. Um, it's functioning well, no leaks, I pressure checked it. Um, just make sure your coolant hose at the lower radiator hose down there is secure. You will not be reusing the um, uh, quick connect adap adapter that originally goes to the factory radiator. And then the lower radiator hose goes to the thermostat down right there. The upper radiator hose goes from the top of the radiator here and over the side to the block right there. That's where that upper rad hose portion goes. The radiator fans bolt in just using the 10 millimeters, two at the top of this one. There, there's another bolt there. And then there's a bolt right there. And then the last one's back up right there. Um, and then they sit in the posts and that's how the radiator fans sit. And then they just plug in with the uh, connectors right there. There's the uh, overflow reservoir and then the other connector right there. And aside from that, that is all. The radiator is performing well and is working great. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, that is all. Thank you for watching.